Please subscribe to our channel for more nature stories and share your thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Have you ever wondered what secret lies hidden deep in the jungle, one that binds humans and animals together in a single thread? Today, you will witness how that secret comes alive in the mating season of chimpanzee families. A dawn chorus stirs the stillness of the African rainforest. Mist clings like silver silk to the canopy, and parrots flash their wings in sudden bursts of color as the first light filters down through ancient trees. The air is alive with rhythm, the distant drumming of rain on broad leaves, the rustle of vines brushed by unseen creatures, and then, cutting through it all, a rolling cry that trembles across the jungle. It is the call of chimpanzees, urgent, electric, familiar. In these voices lies a mirror to ourselves. They are our cousins, sharing nearly all the same code of life that shapes our own bodies, our own instincts. Here, among their families and hidden rituals, the cycle of life begins again. They thrive in 21 nations, stretching across West and Central Africa. In the dense Congo basin, their shadows flicker high among figs, while in the drier savannas they descend to forage on the earth's floor, toes curling over roots, hands breaking open fruits. Their presence is written into the forest itself. Seeds find new homes in their droppings, stones crack shells under their skillful hands, and predators are kept at bay by their fierce bands. Without them, the green heart of Africa would beat differently, slower, weaker. The jungle needs its gardeners. Thousands of miles away in America, children learn to treasure bears in Yellowstone and wolves in the Great Smoky Mountains. Eagles circle the skies there, protected and revered. The lesson is the same, when land is guarded, life multiplies. For chimpanzees, that same protection is a lifeline. Though they will never roam the Appalachians or the Redwoods, their fate is tied to choices made far beyond Africa. In Louisiana, at a sanctuary called Chimp Haven, rescued apes find peace after lifetimes spent in cages. In American classrooms, young voices ask how they can help. Oceans apart, the bond is unbroken. Life here, though, is not guaranteed. The forest hums with danger. Traps laid by poachers, trees felled for distant markets, diseases brought by strangers. Against such odds, each new birth is a rebellion, each infant a promise that tomorrow still belongs to them. Reproduction is more than instinct, it is survival, and the survival of a culture as rich and complicated as any human tribe. When a mother loses a child, years of waiting vanish in a heartbeat. When a baby survives, an entire community breathes with relief. In a crowd of fifty voices, a mother will still know her infant's cry. The recognition is instant, sharp as lightning through the canopy. Bonds this deep do not wait until birth. They begin now, in the chaos and tension of the mating season. The jungle itself shifts during these months, as though even the trees are aware of what stirs within its inhabitants. Hormones rise, signals blaze like quiet fires, and behaviors sharpen into performances of desire and strategy. A female's body shows her readiness, pink skin swelling in a silent declaration to any male who dares to notice. And they notice. A dominant male erupts from the undergrowth, his pant hoots swelling into a booming chorus that rolls like thunder through the trees. He beats the roots with his fists until the ground itself shivers, then drags a fallen branch behind him in a display of brute command. His rivals watch, hesitant, calculating. For him, power must be proven every hour. For others, a different plan forms in silence. Not all courtship here is thunder. Some males play the role of giver, plucking fruits and placing them gently before a female, offering nourishment as if it were treasure. Others hunt small monkeys or bush pigs, sharing flesh in a bid for trust. These gifts are not forgotten. A mother will remember who fed her when she was hungry, who guarded her while she drank from the river, who groomed her fur with patience. Unlike in many species, there is no single chosen mate. A female may lie with many males during her fertile days, each encounter weaving a net of uncertainty. This uncertainty is a shield. If every male believes he could be the father, then every male has reason to protect the infant when it arrives. What might seem chaotic is, in truth, a system of balance, a strategy as old as their bloodline. The air is thick with possibility. In the shadows, a low-ranking male steals glances at a young female. He has no chance against the Alpha's fury in open display, yet patience and cunning are weapons of their own. When the others are distracted by the booming dominance of their leader, he sidles closer, 
Eyes steady, movements calm. The female looks back, and for a moment there is an understanding. Together, they slip away into the undergrowth, silent as ghosts, choosing secrecy over spectacle. The forest itself seems to pulse with these hidden meetings. Leaves tremble with the passage of furtive bodies, roots echo with the drumming of the dominant ones. Calls ripple outward in waves, pant hoots, screams and laughter, until the entire canopy becomes a living chorus. It is a song of strategy, of survival, of desire wrapped in instinct. And yet, beneath the noise, something smaller, quieter, and infinitely more important is at work. A single cell divides in the hidden dark of a female's body. It is the meeting of two legacies, the passing forward of genes that carry memory and promise. This is the true beginning, unseen by any eye but as miraculous as the rising sun. Science explains it simply, sperm finds egg, and from their union, a new being begins to grow. But in this forest, the explanation is more than science, it is poetry written into flesh. It is the continuation of a story told for millions of years, a story that binds them to us. For while the details differ, the essence is the same. Somewhere long ago, we shared this very beginning. Night falls over the Congo, draping its heavy cloak over the forest. The calls soften, replaced by the low hum of cicadas and the distant cry of an owl. Fires of lightning bugs flicker against the dark, like stars brought down to earth. High in the branches, a female curls herself into a nest of leaves, her chosen companion beside her. She rests, knowing that the choices of this day may shape the future of her line. Far below, the dominant male drums once more on a buttress root, a reminder to all of his power, even as shadows conceal the quiet triumphs of others. Dawn creeps once more across the African forest, spilling pale gold over the canopy. Among the shifting branches, a female chimpanzee moves with measured grace, her belly rounded, her pace slowed but steady. Every step she takes is purposeful, each handhold chosen with care. The jungle that roared with courtship weeks ago has quieted, but within her, a secret grows, a fragile spark that holds the promise of tomorrow. Pregnancy for a chimpanzee is long, nearly eight months, a journey not unlike our own. Through it, she continues her life as always, foraging for fruits that glisten with sweetness, plucking leaves, grooming her companions, and resting in nests woven high above the ground. Yet her movements reveal the change. She lingers longer on branches heavy with figs, hungrier now for the energy-rich foods that will nourish both her and the infant forming inside. Her companions seem to know, though no words pass between them. Their glances linger, their gestures softer, as if the community senses the quiet importance she carries. When the time arrives, she will leave them, retreating into solitude. Mothers of her kind give birth alone, choosing hidden places where the forest's shadows guard them. In these secret sanctuaries, a miracle unfolds. More often than not, a single infant enters the world, slick with life and small as a curled fist. Sometimes there are twins, though it is rare. The newborn weighs little more than four pounds, fragile and utterly dependent. And yet, from the first trembling breath, it clings. Tiny fingers and toes curl tightly around its mother's fur, gripping as if the world itself might fall away without her. This instinct to hold on is its lifeline, a bond as unshakable as the rising sun. In those first months, the baby never leaves her chest. It rests against the warmth of her body, listening to her heartbeat, learning her smell, knowing her as home. Slowly, as time passes, the infant will venture further. At half a year, it shifts to her back, clinging there as she travels, eyes wide with wonder at the forest that now unfurls around it. At two years, curiosity pulls it down to toddle beside her, though fear or tiredness sends it racing back to her arms. She is both anchor and guide, her devotion unmatched, her every action bent toward survival of the fragile life she bore. The bond endures for years. A chimpanzee mother nurses her infant for nearly five, one of the longest spans in the animal kingdom. This devotion means her children are few and far between, only once every five or six years will she carry another. Each infant is precious beyond measure. If one is lost, half a decade of effort vanishes, and the forest grows quieter for it. Her investment is enormous, but it is this very devotion that allows culture to flow from one generation to the next. Her community does not leave her alone in this. Though she bears the greatest weight, protection is shared. Chimpanzees live in fluid societies, 
splitting apart during the day only to gather again in shifting groups. For mothers, this constant reshaping offers safety. Allies linger nearby, sometimes even the alpha male himself, ensuring threats are kept at bay. Rival males, uncertain of paternity, hesitate to harm what might be their own. The system, chaotic as it may seem, weaves a protective net around the young. Infants learn not just through instinct but through watching. With wide eyes, they study how their elders crack nuts with stones, turning tools into inheritance. They watch as sticks are slid carefully into termite mounds, pulling out feasts of wriggling insects. They see how fingers move through fur, removing parasites in tender acts of grooming, and they understand what comfort looks like. Each act is a lesson, each gesture a page in a book only passed by example. These are the cultural treasures of chimpanzees, as vital as any tool or fire that shaped our own story. Far away, across oceans and continents, their fate is tied to choices made by strangers. Americans may never see a wild chimpanzee cross their backyard, but the bond remains. It was research in U.S. laboratories that revealed the astonishing closeness of their DNA to ours. It was in American sanctuaries, like Chimp Haven in Louisiana, that retired lab chimps found new beginnings. And it is through conservation groups supported by U.S. citizens that rangers in Africa patrol forests, standing between these families and the poachers who would destroy them. The jungle may feel distant, but its pulse is shared. The dangers remain heavy. Forests are carved away for timber and farmland, leaving bare scars where once life roared. Hunters set traps and raise rifles, seeking meat or trade in infants stolen from their mother's arms. Diseases cross the fragile boundary between species, spreading swiftly through communities not built to withstand them. In just six decades, their numbers have plummeted by more than half. The threat is stark, if left unprotected, chimpanzees could slip from the living world into the quiet of history, remembered only in stories. Yet hope is not lost. Across Africa, communities rise to the challenge, weaving conservation into the fabric of their daily lives. Sanctuaries offer shelter, researchers bring knowledge, and local people become guardians of the forests they call home. From America, hands reach across the ocean, donations sent, awareness raised, decisions made to choose sustainable products over destructive ones. Every action ripples outward. Every choice to protect a wild place, whether in the Everglades or Yellowstone, strengthens the spirit of protection that spans the globe. The mother in the canopy cradles her infant as the sun dips low, casting the forest in gold. The child yawns, its tiny mouth stretching, then burrows closer into her chest. Her eyes soften, her arms tighten, and together they sway in the last warmth of day. Around them, the forest hums with its endless song, but in this moment, the rhythm is tender, quiet, eternal. In the heartbeat of this jungle, life continues. Each newborn cry is a thread tied back to us, echoing across time, reminding us of where we came from and what we still share. Protecting them is not an act of charity but an act of memory, a promise to ourselves that we will not forget the kinship written into our blood.